Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm the learning coordinator here at Roslyn Chapel. Roslyn Chapel is a medieval church in Midlothian, Scotland. It is world famous for its unique and mysterious stone carvings. Today we're going to find out about its green men. A green man is a face with leaves growing out of it, usually from the mouth. Roslyn Chapel has over 100 green men and every one of them is different. I'm going to introduce you to Maureen, one of the chapel guides who will take us on a tour of the building. Hi Maureen. Hi Sarah. Would you like to come in? So now, as you can see, we're inside of the chapel and just about every inch is covered in carvings. There's leaves, there's flowers, there's animals, there's characters and stories from the Bible, and of course, our famous green men. Where do we go first? Well, if you'd like to follow me, we'll go up to this corner, up here, up to the northeast corner. So this here is our youngest green man. It's, we call it the green boy or the green child. Green men are a symbol of nature and fertility. They start off young like nature in spring, then they go older with the seasons all the way to winter when the plants die back. Then when spring starts again, we're back with the youngest one. Can you show us an older one? Yes, come this way. This green man represents early autumn. His eyelids look a bit heavy, like he's sleepy. Well, maybe he's getting ready to hibernate for winter. So, green men don't just represent nature in general, but they represent particularly the cycle of life and death. Exactly, exactly. Let's go to the south door, where we've got four green men representing the four seasons. Okay. As you can see, they're worn away because they've been exposed to the wind and the rain over the centuries. The one representing autumn is upside down. It's like he's falling. That's because autumn is when the year falls from summer into winter. And in America, that's why they call autumn fall. Do green men have any other meanings? Oh, they do. Let me take you through to the north side of the chapel and I'll show you some on that side. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is the north side of the chapel and it doesn't get much sunlight and in the medieval days this dark side the people believed belonged to satan to the devil is that why the green men look so much scarier yes they do and look at this one here with his fangs it's quite different from the boy and the the other green men inside totally completely different and there's quite a lot of other creepy creatures here as well there is so all the scary creatures on this north side of the chapel actually represent all the evil in the world. So Maureen, do you have a favourite green man? Oh, I do. I've got quite a few, but I think my favourite has to be this one up here. He looks as though he's got sunglasses on his head, and I always think he's just come back from his holidays. What about yourself, Sarah? Do you have a favourite green man? Well, I like so many of them, but I also really like the green animal up there. I used to think it was a deer, and then actually I wonder now if it's a monkey. We'll never know, I guess. Well, that's the great thing about Roslyn Chapel. It's just so full of mystery that we will all just keep guessing. We hope you've enjoyed finding out about the green men at Roslyn Chapel. And hopefully one day you can come to Roslyn Chapel and find the green men for yourself and find your favourite one. 
Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.